Hey guys, welcome back to another Southside Noob tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Ryu. He's one of the main characters in uh, pretty much every Street Fighter game. Uh, in this game, he is incredibly strong. He has my vote for uh, best character in the game. Uh, just due to a lot of changes he has to some of his uh, normals, uh, his, couple, his new moves he can do, the charging fireball, and the new kick he got. Uh, not that one, that one. <laughs> So he's definitely one of the stronger characters. Uh, in a nutshell, he's a pretty uh, all-around character. He doesn't do anything really uh, like super fancy. Like he's not a, like a grappler like Zangief, and he's not like a really fast character like Jury. Uh, but he just kind of all around. He can kind of deal with every character in his own special way, which is what makes him uh, makes him really special. Um, so right off the bat, we're going to talk about his normals. Uh, his normals are amazing because they link so well. Uh, linking is is like a, one move to another. So here's an example of some uh, good links he can do that you have to learn that one, the light to medium uh, punch. And you can go and combo that into the medium kick. Uh, you can link that to the uh, to whatever you want. You can go to sweep. Um, but really what you gotta get down is uh, the medium punches. Because uh, this is gonna be your uh, bread and butter right there. Uh, so that's pretty much all about the jab. Oh, other than that, he has a great standing jab, which you can uh, hit confirm into your launcher, just like that. Uh, standing jab pressure in this game is really important, and Ryu does it decently. He's not one of the best people at the standing jab, uh, but he definitely has a good one. Uh, next up is medium punch. We talked about uh, the medium punch being a great linker, uh, so you can combo it into itself. I recommend getting this down really solid. In this game, it's one of the easier ones to get. Uh, this is really important, uh, just because that's how you're going to hit a lot of things. Uh, it's also a special move cancelable, which is very important. You can go and, uh, cancel like uh, to his tatsu, to uppercut, whatever you want. The standing is uh, cancelable as well, either the far standing, which is that one, or the close standing, which is that one there. Uh, for his fierce punch, I don't recommend this too much as a poke. It does some good damage, but it is really slow. Uh, I, I have to recommend sticking with this one, uh, just because you can, you can still uh, safe. Like, it's really safe to cancel that into a fireball. So I I'd, I'd prefer that over seeing a lot of those fierce punches, as this is not special move cancelable. The crouching fierce, however, is very strong. Special move cancelable. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be one of your main uh, juggle moves. So after this one's in, like already hit up, uh, that's gonna be one of your enders right there. That's also a great anti air. Uh, we're talking about anti airs a little bit later. Uh, but this is one of his strong ones. Uh, for kicks, uh, his crouching uh, light kick is really important because this is not a low attack, so you have to do this for a low attack. Go to a jump and you want to just do something like this. All links together beautifully. Uh, so again, uh, this is one of the solid combos you really have to get down. And it is very easy to do. Uh, they, they gave Ryu's links in this. They're very generous about it. Because uh, that is so easy to land in comparison to the other uh, cast members. Um, that's pretty much it for the light kick. I don't really recommend using the light kick uh, standing for a poke or anything. It's pretty bad. Uh, his medium kick, this one is pretty bad. Not special move cancelable. Um, it's not kind of has some decent range, so you can uh, get your uh, launcher from that. But don't recommend it still. If you want to stick with this uh, crouching light kick, fantastic poke, special move cancelable to the fireball, to the tatsu, uh, to uppercut of course, to the new uh, the new uh, the new what people are calling the donkey kick. Um, uh, definitely very 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 strong uh, poke. So I recommend this a lot. Uh, his sweep is good. Very little flinch. Uh, pretty good range, but again, in this game, sweeps tend to be a little bit weaker. Uh, you want to just try to get some combos going from that medium if you can. Uh, standing is pretty good. Another decent anti-air. I wouldn't recommend it too much, though. He's got some better stuff, especially for beginning players. Um, so that's pretty much it for his normals. Uh, some special normals he's got. He's got this overhead. Uh, really good. Uh, you can also cancel to your friend. Uh, so Zang even here for a combo. And so you can mix it up from there, do whatever you want, but uh, the point is that, that that is amazing, you can get uh, some combo damage off that. Uh, his solar plex in this game, you, it's a little bit different, you can't really combo from it like you could in the other Street Fighter. I recommend just sticking with the tried and true uppercut at the end. Uh, you notice the timing's different, you gotta practice that in training mode just for a little bit. Um, other than that, the solar plex you can cancel to your teammate. Oopsie. Not like that, but like this. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a new move for me. Uh, but trust me, it's possible. And again, you can uh, call back in Ryu if you want to finish up with some damage. Um, I think that's it for his normals. Let's talk about his jump-ins. He's got some decent jump-ins. Uh, the Fierce Kick crosses up in the corner sometimes. I don't recommend it. Uh, what you want to stick to as a cross-up is either the uh, Medium Kick or Light Kick. Uh, those are your standard cross-ups. Uh, the other good jump-in, because Fierce Kick is a great jump-in, but it's more for... Uh, or your standard like jump in attack. 
Uh, the Fierce Punch is good as well, you're going to notice that it's just different, uh, so you kind of mix it up a little bit. That is good against certain characters, this is good against other characters. Uh, if you're at range. The other ones are decent, Medium Kick's good, uh, but Fierce is kind of the same hitbox-ish, but the uh, Fierce does more damage. Let's stick with the Fierce. Um, other than that, the Medium's kind of changed. Uh, it, it still does the two hits, so it's good for uh, people blocking if they're tall characters. Uh, in the air, it still causes that juggle as well, it's not bad. But still, still not as good as the other ones. I, I that was kind of tricky. I don't recommend it for beginning players. Um, as far as neutral jumps, I like the medium kick in the air. Uh, really good range. Uh, I just stick with that one. The fierce kick is a little bit awkward on the timing, and it's gonna miss crouching opponents. Be careful with using that one. Uh, the medium punch has its uses, but again, if, if you're gonna use that one, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend the medium kick instead. Uh, the jumping fierce punch, you're gonna notice, it still hits, but uh, it's more for air to air. So if somebody's jumping at you, this is a great normal throw out. Other than that, they're all kind of bad. So I just stick with uh, stick with the fierce punch for air to air, uh, and stick with that medium kick for it, uh, if you're trying to get him on like a wake up or something. That's a great one. Um, I think that's about it. Let's go and uh, demonstrate his anti airs really quick. Uh, so again, this one is amazing. Uh, this is what you're going to use 90% of the time people are jumping at you. You're going to see it's really solid. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of follow-up potential, but it's just it's a great way to keep people out of the air. Another way, of course, is his uppercut. Uh, you can combo another one in the corner. Um, as far as mid-screen, I'm not sure what you can do to follow that up. Uh, so it's just, you're going to have to just play around with that in training mode for a bit. I'm definitely not a combo master when it comes to uh, Ryu. So uh, maybe someone else can, can d demonstrate that in the video. Um, let's go ahead and show off his uh, normal moves. This is why Ryu is amazing in this game, though, is because of his fireball. Uh, I don't fireballs uh, in this game tend to be weaker. I think his got a tremendous buff, though. He has very little flinch after it's thrown. Uh, not to mention, you can uh, like charge it up now. It doesn't do more damage until it goes EX like that. Um, but it does 70 on its own, which is a ton. Sagat's is 70 for the low one. So in the old game, Sagat's always did more. So. Ryu's got a good buff there. Um, so again, now that you can charge it, you can like let people... Uh, if, they, if they see you do this and they jump, you can just charge it and then let them land on it, which is really important. You can also uh, dash cancel this now. Amazing. Uh, so you can do things like this. Get really good mix-ups going. I mean, it's just... Uh, it's really up to your imagination what you can do from this, but I've noticed the pressure from it is so powerful. Um, really is really uh, tough online to, to block those. Um, so just play around with this fireball. Also important to note, if you uh, cancel like that, uh, after it's EX, your next hit is automatically a counter hit. Notice the 200 damage from that one, 160. So every move has different uh, kinds of counter hits, so it's just important to note. Uh, but if you charge it, and they, now your next hit is a counter hit. But if you uh, just hit air like that, now your next hit is no longer a counter hit. So just, uh, just something to play around with with Ryu. Um, in the corner, you get there's some uh, follow-up potential with EX Fireball, but I don't recommend throwing EX Fireballs in this game because meter is too expensive to be wasting uh, on Fireballs uh, for the most part, unless it's going to end a match or something. Um, let's see, I think that's about it for the Fireballs, but that's, that's pretty good. If you hold it uh, for the full duration, you go ahead and throw the Super. Don't recommend this because it's very predictable. Um, uh, what's next? Uh, the Tatsu. His Tatsu is pretty good in this game. Of course, if you're in the air, it changes your jumping trajectory, which is going to make it very difficult to anti-air you. Very important. If you have any questions on why, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll get back to you on that. Uh, but in this game as well, you can follow up from the Tatsu. Uh, that's one of my favorite follow-ups there. You can also do an uppercut. Uh, oops, oh, I'm so sorry. The uppercut, however, is uh, a little bit more risky, because it depends on range and everything, whereas the Tatsu seems to always hit as a follow-up, so I recommend the Tatsu. Um, on the ground, it still goes over some projectiles, like low tiger shots or sonic boom. Uh, just kind of know who you're facing and, and know if it goes over it or not, if it's a solid way to get in. It's still very risky, though. And if an opponent is crouching, they can just like do their anti-air, like, uh, like this punch, for example. So I, I don't recommend this as a poke, like, just to throw it out there like that, because you'll get punished more often than not. Um, let's see, I think that's about it for the Tatsu. Of course, each Tatsu has different ranges. Um, there's our light, there's our medium. Uh, the Fierce is going to go really far, but again, that's not safe. And the EX is stationary, but is mostly used for combos. Let's go and demonstrate one of those uh, in the corner. So this is only corner combos, of course. Uh, it's one way to land your super there. It's pretty decent damage for an easy combo. Uh, you can still uppercut. 
just like you see there. But so uh, those aren't ma maximum punishes by any means. Uh, I'm not sure what the maximum punishes are for Ryu, uh, but those are just some average combos you can do in the corner with the Tatsu. Uh, let's see what else about Tatsu. I think that's it. Uh, it's a great follow-up move for uh, if, if your partner's in. That's mostly what I see a lot of people doing is uh, that. So it's it's a great way of, uh, to bring Ryu in. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, for his new move, uh, this donkey kick, um, it's actually how you get more damage out of your uh, combos. For example, um, now I can juggle him. So I'm not exactly sure what the most damage you can do from this is. Um, just note that it is uh, cancelable, so you can follow it up with whatever you want. So whatever you think is going to do the most damage, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and pump it out of that move. So unless you're uh, in the corner, the only time you do another move besides the donkey kick for damage is the uh, if you're in the corner, uh, the Tatsu can do more in, in certain situations, I think. So other than that, if you if you know you got him, uh, go ahead and throw out that kick. Uh, probably like a medium to uppercut, or maybe a fierce to uppercut is what I recommend. Um, let's see. I think that's not it for that move. It's uh, the the fierce version is not safe on uh, block. Uh, it also has it has a lot of startup, so uh, he can block it. So if you're going to combo it, do the medium uh, or the light. And the light again, it's only safe if you're at uh, at the proper range. So if you're like this close to them, you throw it. If he blocks it, it's not safe. So make sure you got some space. Same with the medium. You want to make sure uh, that you know your spacing for which one you want to do because each one has their own proper spacing. That's about it for that move. And next, of course, we have Ryu's famous uppercut. Uh, go ahead and take a look at the damage there. There's a fierce. There's a light. They each have their certain situations, but uh, if, you, if you're new to Ryu or new to Street Fighter, uh, the uppercut is very important because it has invincibility frames. So when you throw this, you are invincible. Uh, it's the, like the strongest move in the game in that respect. And if he throws any punch, uh, this will always win. Uh, so at the same time, it's your best move and it's, and it's one of your, your most uh, scary moves because if you if he if you miss this or he blocks it. Uh, when you land, you're going to eat a full combo. So don't throw this uppercut unless you know it's going to hit, or if you're going to spend the meter to cancel it, like it is there. So in this game, when you cancel it, uh, your teammate's going to come in and make sure you're safe. So if he blocks, uh, if that your opponent blocks it, now Zangief can come in and make sure you stay safe. Uh, and uh, on the flip side, if it does hit and you cancel it, uh, then Zangief will continue the combo and do some more damage for you. So uh, I recommend for new players, every single time you uppercut, go ahead and waste the meter and send your teammate in. You're going to notice it's, uh, it's going to make you a better player in the long run because you get more practice with the canceling. And uh, you're going to get some uh, some free damage if it hits. Uh, that's about it for the uppercut though. Other than that, I think uh, everyone has a lot of uh, training with the uppercuts. Um, if you cancel the Shin Shiryuken, you can go ahead and send your partner in. You can do some interesting combos uh, with them being stuck there like that. Kind of, kind of fun to play around with. Uh, Shin Shiryuken, of course, does a lot more damage. Uh, 200, very, very good damage, very strong punish. As you see there, just for 1 meter, 350 is not bad. And of course, you can extend that uh, easily. Um, I think that's about it for his uppercut. I think that's all the special moves. Um, uh, let's see. As far as combos go, I don't want to get too in depth with the combos. We already covered my, some of my favorite. Um, just I recommend for beginning players, go ahead and get this one down. Uh, it's just a, a jump in uh, all the way to the medium punch. So uh, light kick, light punch, medium punch. That's the combo you really need to get down. Um, that's, it's not working anymore. There we go. That one's really safe. Uh, it also after that medium punch is when you start your mix ups. So uh, maybe you uh, you know do an uppercut if it, if you've already hit or if you haven't hit and he's still blocking. Go ahead and cancel that fireball into a dash grab or or continue jabs again. Uh, whatever you want to do, but that, that's really the bulk of his mix-up game, is, is that fireball. So, that's about it on Ryu, guys. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. I don't see, even uh, even on Ryu, I don't see too many tutorials out there yet. So, uh, if you like it, please give us uh, some comments, and some. Uh, uh, we'll get back to you if you have any questions as well, because uh, I think a lot of people really want to pick up Ryu in this game, because he is so strong. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time.